Hey Aries, this is Soul. And Aries, uh, this is your bi-weekly messages uh, beginning December 18th, ending December 31st, 2017. The messages will also be for Aries Moon and Aries Rising. I hope all my Arians are feeling uh, pretty damn good. Holiday uh, season is here and it's approaching. Uh, so I want to wish all the Aries a Merry Christmas uh, and a very safe one. If you're spending time with family and friends and you're traveling, I'm asking for traveling mercies. Or if uh, family members or friends are coming to uh, visit you, same message applies. Anyway, I hope that you get your shopping done. All right. Christmas will be here before you know it. And then, you know, because I'm touching base on the holiday season and um, wishing everyone a Merry Christmas, I have, you know, noted in other videos that other, you know, some people, you know, don't always find uh, this particular time is very, you know, joyful or, you know, merry. So I hope it's not applying to you, but sometimes the uh, holidays bring about, you know, unwanted stress or stressors things that could happen to trigger stressors so i'm not spending time on that and that's not your reading but i'm just throwing it in there as a, a message so a couple things are coming in here before i start your uh, reading here aries uh for one thing this is a general reading and um so i'm gonna try to pull out the messages for you uh in covering all areas and aspects of your life but the one thing that is coming to me uh for some of you that um there could be some you know new love or love is in the air okay with the queen of cups showing in the upright which is always good you know I always like to see the cups and then we have the page of cups ending your um your reading okay so for some of you it could be a new love it could be a um relationship that seems to be you know that does a turnaround or there's a startup of uh, an existing relationship, but maybe things haven't been gone the way that you wanted it to or for the other person involved. That's the Queen of Cups talking to me. And then the Page of Cups is talking to me because it's the start of something new or it could be something that's already existing, but there's a turnaround. OK, uh, in the upright positions, both are in the upright position. You also have the Seven of Cups in the reverse position so i'll get to that message but for some of you though this upcoming uh, two weeks relates to having to go within this hermit has shown up for another zodiac sign i don't recall uh any upright but it's never negative so don't uh, get me wrong it might be because the hermit is showing up for some areas you know as we approach the end of the year this is more or less like an evaluation kind of phase you know like going within to evaluate uh the areas of your life that may be, uh, you know, lacking, that may be progressing. Uh, this is oftentimes um, spending time alone for some of you. This is also for me, um, some of you doing some, you know, possible deep meditation. But whatever it is that you uh, withdraw into or go within uh, in terms of evaluations, this could be evaluating the situation event. And like I said before, it could be just the end of the year and just evaluating where you are currently, what you've um, achieved and progress up to this point, And then what you would like to achieve and uh, progress to further out. OK, coming out, though, from this hermit phase is not something that is uh, permanent, it's temporary. Uh, you come out with a uh, normally. You come out with a brighter, um, clearer perspective. And that is um, shown by the lantern that this gentleman is holding is bright light. So you may go within and then you're coming out. So not too much to worry there. Uh, as I picked up before, Hermit um, relates to, you know, possibly uh, water signs, cancer in particularly. So whether or not you have exchanges with these energies, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but I am reading for some Aries uh, that are dealing with um, cancers, and this could be romantic uh, relationships because because of the cups, Queen of Cups, Seven of Cups, and the Page of Cups showing up here. Uh, also,
Yeah. Oh, I just noticed you have the chariot here and the chariot is showing up in the reverse. So this is water energy as well. Okay, so let me just go ahead and proceed with the reading. The Queen of Cups is here. This could indicate just, you know, the holiday season and, uh, you know, older feel. Always get an older feel uh, with the Queen showing up in the upright. This is all about, you know, expression of love, love, new love coming, possibly. Uh, whether or not it's with an older, um, if it is an older direct water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, male or female, doesn't really matter. This uh, energy here related to this card is all about being uh, loving, sharing your love with others, and then having that reciprocity, you know, reciprocity uh, come back to you. This is a card of intuition. So within the next two weeks period of time, uh, pay attention to your intuition. Always go with the first prompt that you get is always the correct answer. And then, you know, just for the female aspect of this card is just, you know, feeling you know motherly cups representing children so it's that you know spending quality time with your family members and, and children i do indicate though there's something going on uh related to again <laughs> get that whisper in my ear love is in the air for aries during this two-week period of time uh, but that love could be the expression of again it could be a romantic type of love or it could be the type of love in terms of expression with um, sharing your energies with family members and friends. So I don't want to rule that out as well, but I do feel strongly that it is with a relationship because the next card that's coming up is the uh, following the Queen of Cups is the and this could be for male energies as well, not just female. So male or female, but I always get an older feel when the queens and the kings show up. Uh, Ten of Swords is in the reverse, which is good. So this is um, related to, um, you know, putting an end to some sort of conflict. Uh, swords always represent, uh, you know, taking action. Also, because this is a general reading, someone may have had some sort of surgery and they're recovering with the Ten of uh Swords in the reverse position. If the ten is showing up and I always pick up surgical procedures, then it was a painful, uh, possible p painful procedure. Um, or it could have been, you know, like a outpatient procedure, but it was a lot of pain indicated here. Okay, but you're getting over that. This is also a card of backstabbing. So maybe someone is getting over some sort of backstabbing energy. Uh, this is, you know, with the nine of swords and ten of swords, I always get... Um, heavily that is something to do with uh, placement of trust either trusting too much not trusting enough okay and it creates some sort of mental uh, agility or conflict that's coming to an end tens always when they come is potential energy but it doesn't stick around too long all right this uh, may have been back surgery knee surgery uh, like I said inpatient outpatient surgery surgery surgical procedures uh, but there was some pain <laughs> some very intense pain associated and if it's not you Aries directly it's someone that you know okay it follows the uh, court card the queen so maybe it was a mother or a father who may have had back surgery or knee surgery or hip replacement whatever the surgical stuff is that's what I'm picking up following the um, nine or uh, ten of swords I'm sorry is the hierophant now major arcana and it's in the uh, reverse the Hermit is here as a major arcana. It's in the upright. And then we have the Chariot uh, in the reverse as well. Uh, so the Hierophant in the uh, reverse position, when it mirrors the Queen, uh, de definitely because this is a relationship card and it represents uh, Taurus, but it can also represent uh, other Earth signs, Capricorn and Virgo. That there is uh, that whole aspect of a relationship that I see. Now, just because it's in the reverse, that means that um, within a relationship, a current relationship, there could have been some sort of uh, teaching. Aries taught, Aries learned, Aries learned, Aries taught. Now, the teaching and learning has to be uh, what I'm picking up related to growth and progression uh, excuse me progression within a relationship okay maybe I mean, i'm just going to throw this out there as an example in terms of if it is a relationship uh type of thing that i'm picking up because the hierophant is showing 
up here in the reverse and it mirrors the uh, Queen of Cups as I get a direct relationship. Uh, maybe it was something that um, was going on within the relationship and um, either you were lacking or the person that you were with were lacking. But this is just a completion of you being taught or you being learned or the person that is connected to you and your energy. Also, stand alone. This is um, related to, um, you know, training, possibly training. Since the Page of Cups is always about, for me, a new job, maybe there's some sort of training going on, uh, new job in terms of training, coming to some sort of end, higher education, uh, someone, you know, this is usually the Faith and Hope card, and it could be that someone, you know, just to throw it out there and give you uh, more volume of information, you know, in the reverse, it's usually someone's giving up hope, giving up faith in the upright position. It's all about keeping the faith and maintaining hope. All right. Whatever that situation is, whether it's connected to, uh, you know, any types of relationships, romantic, uh, platonic, what have you, family situations, someone is um, either losing hope or giving up faith in the situation. Yeah. Seven of Wands follows this uh, Hierophant and it's in the upright position, but this is your energy. So normally, you know, it's you could take it for what it is in terms of uh, the depiction on the card where, you know, it might be you, Aries, who feels like you're being personally attacked by others or you have to stand your ground or your position. Uh, for whatever it is. Otherwise, it's just a physical card of movement. So it might be just energy uh, related to, um, you know, the holiday season and trying to get things done. Take the wands as multiple things to take, you know, could be multiple tasks or multiple things to take care of. This also, too, because I picked up before and another uh, Zodiac uh, sign in their reading, this could represent uh, gifts gift giving you know gift to others and maybe there's uh seven people that you are shopping for now that's just you know an example but it's not something that's written in stone but trying to uh, use that energy that you have to complete your shopping and it's not always about you know external battles or struggles although it could be but if it applies to you then this is what's coming up seven of um cups is in the reverse and this is, of course, uh, about options. Now, ironically, it sits underneath this Queen of Cups. So maybe if I was giving some type of lead in terms of a relationship, maybe there were, you know, um, multiple people. I wouldn't say multiple people, but maybe there were one or two people of interest. And then there's a selection here. This is the Seven of Cups. Also, the Seven of Cups uh, represent uh, children. So it could be that uh, time spent with your children and they could be, you know, a direct water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, male or female. When the Seven of Cups shows up in the reverse, it's just that um, someone has made a selection in terms of having um, many options to pick and choose from. So just hopefully whatever uh it is, if it's, you know, related to love and romance that you've chosen the right partner. Uh, for your energy and um, that it's not the type of uh, decision or option that you've made uh, that will come back and bite you in your ass. Normally, the Seven of Cups comes in, you know, as a warning. But that warning is only when it's in the upright position to pay attention to what's coming, you know, the options before you. Also, too, it could be that there's a... Um, Sometimes I pick up, you know, one night stands with the seven of uh, seven of cups and it's underneath a court card. So that could be someone who gets themselves involved with uh, some sort of physical aspect of a one night stand. And maybe that's all you're interested in. You know, that could be a message for someone out there. Terry, the show on up here after the cups. And it represents cancer. So, you know, it could be that you're um, having some sort of exchanges with uh, water signs, cancer in particularly, Scorpio or Pisces, male or female. Uh, stop and go energy is related to the chariot. Now, stop and go means something 
that's going on possibly uh, in your life. You have to apply uh, the message to your situation. Things progress and then they stop. Things compress, you know, uh, progress, they stop. This here sometimes is a strong indication, though, when I pick it up, um, related to possible uh, traveling and cars and, and stuff. So maybe this uh, Seven of Cups is showing up for some of you who have uh, may have had, you know, car troubles in the past. And this is the repair. Seven of Cups is the indication of a repair. Uh, horses in this uh, particular deck are facing in op opposite direction. So if I was going to pull in a uh, relationship aspect, that means that one of these horses is representing you, Aries, and the other one is representing someone in a relationship. And someone is not... Someone is not on the same page here, okay? Because the horses will be in alignment facing forward, not facing away from each other. So there's something going on uh, for an Aries or two that I'm reading for already involved in a relationship because the cups follows. Well, the cup precedes, seven of cups precedes this chariot. And it may be because of the horses in opposite directions, there's, you know, some sort of stop and go energy. This could also indicate a complete stoppage when it comes to a relationship. And even though I have already uh, stated that there's love in the air and possible new connections and romance, that's still going to stand. But I'm just giving you a message for somebody who's dealing with this chariot that's in the reverse. OK, things move, then they stop or progress. Then it could be at a point because it's in between the seven of cups and the page of cups that it um, something comes to a complete stop. All right. There's a um, message here for um, some Aries about, you know, like I said before, a new love coming in. Page of cups in the upright is always about a new uh, situation with love. This could be a younger energy, younger cancer. Pisces, uh, tar, um, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, I'm sorry, male or female. This could also be a new job. This could be a friendship. But something new is about to come into um, Aries or pre, you know, be presented into Aries life in this two-week period of time. And I feel like it could be, again, older, younger. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be representative of uh, water sign energies, but there's a relationship that's coming in. I have a lot of water here. I have the Queen of Cups, Seven of Cups, Chariot represents Cancer, that's water, and then the Page of Cups. Okay, definitely something to do with a uh, new job and training. Someone completes training uh, for a job. This is a birth of a child. If it's not an Aries female that I'm reading for, then it's someone that you know is given birth, maybe uh, given birth within this two week period of time. New friendship, new romance. So I actually, you know, I like this aspect of your reading, uh, Aries, because, you know, for some having to uh, go within and do some introspection but i just feel overall though with that and not to sound redundant it relates to the end of year and most people do that most people evaluate or go you know within and do some introspection uh to see exactly where they are in their you know in their life and what they would like to uh, achieve or manifest to bring into their life and moving forward so i think that's why the hermit is here for some of you during this two-week period of time giving you a time to reflect um and you know possibly put your life in a uh, proper perspective all right so aries this is what i have for you so it's, you know looking pretty good with all these cups here uh i wouldn't worry too much about this chariot this is you know for some having to have had uh, to deal with some sort of uh, car issues. And this is the repair. Whether or not it was major or minor. This also could be a completion that someone has purchased a car. Leased a car. Rented a car. For whatever reason. Something to do with a car. All right. That's what I have for you Aries. So with that being said I want to close this out again. I want to wish you all 
Um, Merry Christmas. Please be safe. Sending out a lot of love and light to you all. Until I talk to you again, Aries, please be well. Bye.